What's up guys? Today we're going to be working on uh, Jimmy's 97 Honda Civic Coupe. He brought it to me because uh, he had a blown head gasket. He said, Nick, can you take care of me? I told him, of course. And uh, he knew he was in the right hand, so he said, hey, can we do a few other things? So we, uh, we did the rod bearings in it. We did a water pump, time belt, all new uh, seals on the motor. And then we're doing a new head gasket. Uh, I think that's it. We might also do an exhaust manifold and stuff because I noticed he has a little crack right there. But this thing's pretty clean. It's a cool little, uh, it's a 97, it's a five speed little coupe. Got the head over here. Just got it uh, resurfaced. Make sure his head gasket lasts as long as possible. Fresh surface on the head. All the valves look like they're in good shape. Cam's in good shape, so. I'm a little brother over here today, helping me do this job. Huh. So yeah, I already got the, uh, pretty much already most of the way done. Uh, I got a, I got a little clip of me doing the rod bearings. I'll put in right here. All right, so we got this rod bearing right here. We're gonna uh, install it right up here on the uh, second uh, journal right there. Just gonna put a little bit of lube on the, not on the back side, just on the front side where it's gonna uh, ride against the crankshaft. We'll put a little lube right there. And then we're gonna get real close right here. We're gonna uh, take and put it on the crankshaft, and then we're gonna slide it. Get over here. We're gonna slide it in the rod right there. So we're gonna spin it around right there. I'm gonna push it up with my fingers as far as I can. Keep going over there, and then I grab the screwdriver. See what I'm doing? Okay. Yeah. I grab the screwdriver and I'm gonna just push that bearing in. Just like that. Until it goes all the way in. There we go. So as you can see right there. Got that bearing in all the way. Got some assembly lube on it. Make sure there's like no dirt right there, just a little bit of lube. And we're gonna probably we're gonna wipe that off real quick, and then we're gonna get another bearing, and we're gonna put some lube on that, and we're gonna put it in. All right, so I'm gonna grab another bearing out of here. Brand new bearing. I'm gonna put a little lube right here. And put it on the uh, inside of the bearing right there. Uh, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one, except for we got the rod cap right here. I'm gonna clean that up real quick. I already got it cleaned up, but just double check it's really clean. I'm just gonna take and put this in there. There's a little tang right there on that. And there's a spot for the tang right there. You just stick it in there like that. Slide the bearing down a little bit. And I like to just rock it back and forth just a little tiny bit, make sure it's fully seated. Make sure you ain't got no dirt in there. Make sure you got some lube on the bearing. And then uh, you're gonna take the bearing and you're gonna make sure that the tang is going to the other tang. You're gonna put it back in like that. Holy crap, actually. All right, so it's like two in the morning. We just got the oil pan on and I forgot to show uh, me torquing the rod bolts. But anyways, the torque specs 23 foot pounds for anybody that's uh, wondering. 
yeah we just got the oil pan put on threw a little bit of paint on it and uh yeah so tomorrow morning we'll uh finish up the timing belt put the head on and fire it up but after that now we just got to uh finish up putting the head on i already cleaned up the surface right here and then i uh cleaned out the bores a little bit with the hone just a real light real light hone on all four bores and i already cleaned up the surface right there on the intake manifold and then uh let's see where's the light i already got his new cam sealing down there and uh cleaned all everything up real good right here on the side of the motor got the new water pump in so yeah let's go ahead and get this head slapped on and get the time belt put on and all that and get her started So I just cleaned up the bottom of the head real quick. And then I took the old gasket off right here, off the intake, and cleaned that up, put the new gasket on there. And then uh, now we're just gonna uh, put the dowel pins in the block, put the head gasket on and drop the head on there. Tighten them down, boy. Tighten them down. Spin them, spinny. Spin them bolts, spinner. Spin that one right there, bud. Alright, so now we got a to torque down the head. So the torque spec on this head is 49 foot pounds. Um, I always go five at least five pounds over that on the D series. On the B series or H series, K series, I'll even go 10 foot pounds. Um, I'm pretty confident in uh, the work I've done on this motor. It's got a fresh uh, cut on the head. It's got a brand new head gasket. We copper coated the head gasket and it has new bolts. So, I mean, I doubt it's gonna fail. So we're just gonna do five pounds over. It's 49 foot pounds. We're gonna shoot for 55 six pounds over but we're just gonna round it up anyways you gotta do it in steps i'm sure there's like a stupid step we're just gonna do 30 and then we're gonna do uh 55 so it, it i mean i already it, i'm pretty sure the first step's like 15 which we already did 15 because i tightened them all down so we're just gonna start right here with 30 foot pounds on our torques on our torque wrench and then uh 14 millimeter socket and uh, you start with the two bolts and you work to those two bolts then these two bolts and then those two bolts and then these two bolts so you'll see right here got 30 
30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and 30, and 30. So I like to just go back through and double check it one more time. See that one turned a little bit. So get them all out 30 again. At least these couple middle ones. All right, we're good. So now we're gonna set our torque torque spec to 60, and we're gonna. Uh, what are you me? We're gonna set our torque spec at 60, not 60, 55. We're gonna go back through and do the same exact thing. So let's get it. So D16 Y7. That's what motor this is. All right, so we're right there at 55. We'll lock the torque wrench down. And start getting tightening these bolts. See, there we go. Hardly turned at all. There we go. Go we'll check this one. Check this one. That one. This one, back to that one, back to this one, back to that one, back to this one, and then back to that one. And like I said, on the last torque spec, you normally won't see a difference. The next day, I took my little brother home, got a haircut, brushed my teeth, you know, the whole nine. Anyways, I've been putting in work on this thing. Got the head on, got that all torqued down, got the oil pan on, got the water pump on, got the cam in, and I just put the uh, rocker arms on, got those all cleaned up, cleaned out, made sure there's no dirt or uh, debris inside the oil galley. Now I'm working on putting these uh, bolts in and then I'm going to tighten that down, torque that down. We're going to put the exhaust on. We're just going to keep on buttoning it up. So yeah, stay tuned. I want to show you guys a little bit of uh, check it out how hot it is here in Arizona. So it's like uh, today it's like 110. So I'm going to show you guys outside and you're just going to feel the heat right through the video. Like I got. This is an air conditioner and that's a swamp cooler. Still like 90 degrees in here. Got the Acura sitting pretty. Look at how hot it is out here. Do you see how hot? Oh my God. That's how hot it is.
all right so cleaned up the front bumper and headlights a little bit better made sure that every all my marks were off of it but fire it up see how she sounds the tranny is a little noisy but uh for the most part motor sounds solid so let's see let's see right Even after washing it, she fired right up. See here, it's pretty quiet. Oh, oh, a little noise in the tranny, but uh, we won't talk about that. It's the next on the list. Anyways, this thing's running like a top. Ready for uh, old Jim Bob to come get her. Look at that thing, looks like a brand new car now. Take it for a little test drive. All right, eh? Over here in old Jim Bobby's car. Take it for a little test drive, my friend. We see if she runs out, that runs at the quarter of the mile, a pretty creek or pretty slow, you know. I can't tell you for sure, but I can tell you one thing, it will go the whole quarter mile for sure. The head gasket no leak no more. The head gasket seal perfectly. One, first gear. Second gear. Oh, has a lot of power. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So much power, my friend. It feels like a, it feels like a million horses behind you, like one million horses behind me, and a large fire behind them. Oh, she runs like a top A. Little check engine light. I'm not sure what that one is about. Probably should check that. Maybe I have the alternator. Maybe it needs an alternator. Probably the alternator went bad because, you know, every time you do the head gasket, you should replace the alternator just because it's a good idea. Anyways, guys, if you want to spend a lot of money on your car for an absolutely no reason, you should follow the tips I give to you today on this tutorial. Because look at how good this car runs. We spent $1,984 million to get this car running perfect. And look at how we are almost to 60 miles per hour and it has only been two minutes. You know how fast that is. Do you have any idea how fast that is, my friend? This car is faster than a Lamborghini by one million times. Probably, it may need some brakes, but we will not talk about that on this episode, okay? That will be for the next episode. So if you guys were enjoyed watching the video, I would appreciate it if you guys would like, comment and subscribe to the channel because that really helps us out a lot. I'd appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.